Good morning, ladies and gents. It's Saturday morning and we're in the brewery because uh, we have a staff meeting in the pub today. But uh, while I wait for everyone to arrive, yeah, I want to show you these. So you can see we've got a task this week coming to stand this one up on its feet. But other than that, we do indeed have a couple of cylindro conical 1000 litre fermenters from the Pretty Decent Beer Company. This is the guys. So in here, <clears throat> excuse me, it's early. We have um, takeoff uh, lines, CIP, a little bit of hoppage in there, spray balls, um, spunding valves. There's a spunding valve here with its um, gauge on. There should be two of everything, of course, but I'm yet to double check that. Spunding valve. I see another valve in here anywhere. I can. There it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Pressure relief valve, of course. Um, loads of stuff. What's this bad boy? Oh, I'll have to figure. Oh, that's a thermo probe. I believe, uh, or some type. All sorts of fantastic stuff to go onto these absolutely beautiful tanks. And they are gorgeous. So that's the takeoff port on the front there. That's the main blowout outlet. Underneath, we've got a little bit of uh, a glycol inlet. We've got a sample port on one side. We've got a carbonation stone inlet on the other side and round the back there's a glycol outlet. We've got some feet that screw onto the bottom of here. We've got a spray ball assembly pipe work clamps onto these sections here. We've got a hot port, we've got the pressure release valve port and we've got the CIP spray ball port and uh, yeah that's what they look like stood up. I must admit that the welding on this is beautiful. I don't know how they've managed to make it so perfect. They're good, aren't they, what they do? So I do know that these came in from China. Here's the conform uh, conformity plate, what would you call it? I don't know. So that's all the details on there. I'm yet to read that, so you're getting a first look before I actually do. And I've also not yet had a look inside. So shall we have a, have a look inside this one? I'll just move this door. Okay, you know what, actually? I should have probably got myself a torch. And then this door should swing out of the way as it does very nicely. Oh, it looks really good in there. Yeah, so it smells slightly of beer as well, which is a good sign. I'm just gonna have a quick look around for a torch. So we've got one. I don't want to use the one on the mobile phone because I don't, I'm not able to zoom out then as much. So let's have a look inside here. Oh, that looks lovely. So it's been CIP'd before I picked it up and everything looks spot on. The welds are clean. There's a little bit of a mark, a tide mark on the side, but there doesn't appear to be, you know, any, uh, beer stone or anything like that it's a beautiful piece of kit so one thing I do want to check is if there's a lip, oh there isn't so there's no lip so that means all of the the manways cut flush on the inside oh it's beautiful I'm over the moon with these guys what do you think anyway um, that's it for today this is just a quick video to introduce you to the new tanks and I'm going to be in next week after we've made, a, I think, a concrete pour, weather depending at home. If that doesn't happen, we'll be in here. But we have to figure out how we're going to stand this up because it does weigh quite a bit. Probably best part of half a ton, 400 kilos, something like that. And it's the top dome section that's really heavy. So I'm going to go next door, have this staff meeting. Then we'll do a few other things in here today. And... Uh, We'll see you on the next video when we're either pouring concrete 
which is the uh, extension build, separate to the brewery vlogs, if you like. Or we'll be in the brewery doing something here. So we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.